o'clock. Today is Monday, March the 15th. I just now got finished getting completely ready for the day. I didn't do it first thing this morning like I normally do. So I just came upstairs real quick to get ready. We've already had lunch. Most subjects are done in school. I do need to still help Holly with math and I need to help Amy with math as well. And that's it. And then we are finished up for the day. My older girls are still working away at their subjects. Kylie actually started on algebra first thing this morning and did two lessons to get that out of the way because that's like her least favorite subject. So I thought, let's just go ahead and knock that out first thing this morning and get it over with. So that's what she did. She got that out of the way this morning. But anyway, this week is a pretty busy week for us. Today's kind of chill and laid back. It's just mostly school today. But tomorrow is music day, plus I go to the cardiologist tomorrow. Wednesday is uh, the anatomy scan for the baby. And then Friday is exciting because we are going to the homeschool convention. I'm so excited to go to the homeschool convention and see all of the books and all of that fun stuff. So it's going to be a fun day Friday. But yesterday after church, I had to run into Ingalls and get some produce and a few things. So I went ahead and filmed what I got there because I usually just do like our Tuesday grocery pickup and y'all don't get to see like our full like grocery haul, I guess, because we make some runs through the week. So anyway, I filmed what I got at Ingalls and I'm going to show that to you right now. But I thought I would just bring y'all along and let you see what I got at Ingalls today. Um, but first of all, while I was in Ingalls, I of course had to stop by the Starbucks. I got a vanilla uh, vanilla cold brew sweet cream, something like that. Vanilla sweet cream cold brew. Anyway, I've been drinking on that. But yeah, I just went there and got a few things. So I'm going to show you what I got real quick. Okay, so starting over here, I got myself some chicken salad. Of course, if the girls want some of this, Josh does not like chicken salad. But I got some of this for lunches this week. Um, also got some iceberg lettuce and then some Italian lettuce for salads this week as well. I forgot to get the cliff bars and I was already like um, at the cheese and stuff and they have these little kind bars over there. So I just picked up a couple of those for this week. A bunch of bananas, strawberries, raspberries, and a big pack of blueberries. These actually look really good. Sometimes we get the little ones that are kind of sour, but these look good. And then I got some just mild cheddar shredded cheese. I got some of these little snack bars. The girls love to snack on cheese, especially have snacky lunches and things like that. I got a bag of pears, some croutons for the salad, tomato that I can cut up for the salad as well, just a little bag of apples, just something to grab quick for snacks for the little kids. Um, I got Josh some of these. He used to drink these all the time, y'all, like one a day, but he hasn't drank them in a while, so I was like, I'm going to get him some more. So I got him some of these V8 vegetable juice. I got vanilla almond special K and Cheerios oat crunch because we are really low on cereal right now so i went ahead and picked up two boxes of those i got this chicken for chicken stir fry one night this week oh and here's the dressing that i'm going to try with my salads this week it looks really really good and i love like vinaigrette dressing and things like that so i'm going to try that on my salads i will let y'all know how i like it two boxes of nature green bars apple cinnamon and blueberry uh grilled cheese crackers these are my favorite crackers y'all i know they're not the best but um the lemon cream oh they're so good i love the lemon cream crackers um, another bag of chips for Josh's lunch and if the girls want to bag through the week, got those. I got some cinnamon raisin bread from the bakery section because this bread is so much better um, than like, what is it, Pepperidge Farm? But anyway, that's really good. So while I was in there, I went ahead and picked up a bag for breakfast. I got peach yogurt, strawberry yogurt. There is some peanut butter granola for our yogurt. And lots more yogurt options over here, y'all. I got Josh his favorite. His is the vanilla Activia yogurt. And Allie requested that I pick up this this week. It's called So Delicious. And so I got like eight of the chocolate because I knew all of the girls would want a chocolate. Um, I got two strawberry and two blueberries. So we're going to try this new kind of yogurt. Um, and I will also let y'all know how we like this. I got one gallon of milk, some paper plates. And here's our sweet section over here. I got some um cookies from the bakery section some nutty buddy bars this is josh's favorite kind of chocolate and then i got some of these easter um little basket cakes little debbie cakes and the last thing i picked up is some dove dry shampoo i have not bought this in probably about a year or so um but this tuesday i have a cardiologist appointment and i'm assuming i'll have a heart monitor on so when i go for my anatomy scan wednesday i will not have a shower and my hair gets really greasy if i don't wash it every single day so I'm going to try this dry shampoo on my hair. So hopefully 
that'll tame it a little bit for when I go to the doctor Wednesday. But yeah, I just had a few things to pick up at Ingalls, and then we just spent the day at home after that, just hanging out and outside. It was so nice out there yesterday. But guess what? Today it's chilly, so I've got my long sleeves on today because it is pretty cold out there. Kylie and Amy were headed on the back porch this morning to do school, and they're like, wait, hang on, it's cold out here. So they came back in. So yes, yeah, long sleeve weather again today. The 70s are gone for now. It's rain most of the week. Rain's supposed to start tomorrow and rain all week this week, y'all. So yeah, Josh is gonna have some time off starting tomorrow probably. But anyway, I'm gonna head downstairs now. I've got the girls watching Boxcar Children. That is one of our favorite TV shows or movies or whatever. I just love the Boxcar Children. And it's actually free on Amazon today. So that's what they were watching while I was getting ready. Yes, they have this book, Boxcar Children. Sunrise Island, no sorry, not Sunrise, Surprise Island. And that is the TV show that they're watching now to go along with that book. Okay, and first thing this morning, this is what I started working on, y'all. I've got all of this stuff on the couch. This is actually Kylie's high school bin. She's got to put that away. But the stuff that's just laying here on the couch, I've got to put away because I have been cleaning out this rolling cart in my homeschool cabinet, y'all. I have been needing to clean this thing out like, oh, for so long. And trust me, it's not perfect. Um, but if you could have seen it before, oh my word, y'all, things were falling out when you open these doors. Um, these are actually Amy's uh, Christian Light Education little books that she has already finished. So I need to take that upstairs to the completed work. Um, but yeah, I've got my teacher spaniels. I've got all of Kylie's and Holly's um, CLE packets there. Kylie's Bible and Holly's reading. Some more teacher's manuals. Um, I used to put pencils in this, but it's empty right now. Envelopes, that's Kylie's high school portfolio. And then I've just got some like little miscellaneous readers. This is actually mine. I keep my markers and washi tape and things like that in there. And then down here, I just put our headphones, um, some little sight word cards, the magna blocks, and then a whiteboard. So yeah, it is so much better than it was. And then this stuff, all came out of here out of the cabinet that I don't really need in there um, so I'm gonna take it upstairs and put it where it belongs and it also has some giveaway stuff I've already bagged that up but yeah that's what I've been working on this morning before everybody had got started on school so I'm pleased with it actually didn't take me that long so I don't know why I put it off for so long but it's done now okay I just made myself a salad it's just got lettuce shredded cheese a little bit of bacon bits where some bacon was cooked up yesterday some boiled egg because last night Josh made several boiled eggs and put in here. The girls absolutely love boiled eggs, especially the little girls. So I just took one of those to put on my salad. And yeah, that's what I'm about to have. Oh, and I used my new dressing. This simply dressed pomegranate vinaigrette. I think it's going to be so good. I will let y'all know how I like it. It's first time trying it. So yeah, that's what I'm about to eat. Y'all, it is so cold today. I had to turn the heat on. I mean, it's not like freezing cold. That's a little dramatic, but it's cold. But anyway, that dressing, y'all, so good. Literally the, <laughs> literally, the best dressing I have ever had on a salad. It's right up there with like restaurant style. And I'm not kidding. It is so good. I would pay money for the salad that I had today. I mean, it was good. Oh, another thing. Whoever suggested the method cleaner for the um, granite countertops, thank you. This stuff works amazing. I love it. I'm going to keep ordering this from Grove probably every month. Next month, I'll get more than one on it because I know this is not going to last me for an entire month. But it has been awesome. So thank y'all so much for suggesting that. It is already 3 in the afternoon. Y'all, I don't know about y'all, but this time change is like making the days fly by. And most people are like, if you have kids, then you lose even more sleep because they get up early. Y'all, my kids must be different because my kids are sleeping in on this time change. I literally had to holler and wake one of them up. They were sleeping in the basement. I didn't think they were ever going to wake up today. And Amy has been getting up and going to the couch and falling right back asleep for like an hour. I mean, it's crazy. It's like wearing my kids out. So I'm not worried about the whole of them getting up too early. They're actually sleeping too late. I'm having to wake them up. <laughs> but anyway, for dinner tonight, I'm thinking about doing that sausage and rice because I told y'all that I would show you how I make it. And that just sounds good tonight. It's kind of cold outside. It's pretty simple. So I think I'm going to do sausage and rice tonight. If I have mac and cheese, I may do that on the side as well. Anyway, but I'm not going to cook till probably around 5. And Josh probably won't be home until then anyway or a little bit later. So I'm going to do that around 5. While I was cleaning out the homeschool cabinet, y'all look at all this I found. This was not even a Ziploc bag either. It was just like randomly threw in that cabinet. So I found crayons, pencils, pens. And I just stuck them all in the Ziploc bag. It's like 
some brand new crayons in there too. Okay y'all, I am getting started on the sausage and rice now. Um, I've already cut up my bell pepper and my onion here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in the pan. And then I'm gonna use the same little thing to go ahead and chop my sausage up. And I just put all of my sausage, my bell pepper and my onion in the same pan. Brown that up, I let the veggies get nice and soft. And then I make some rice on the side. I, I used to do the, um, oh, what was it? It was some kind of mixed uh, rice. Um, but Josh prefers just the white rice. So I just do the white rice and everybody seems to like that. So after the sausage is cooked up, this is soft. I'll go ahead and do the rice on the side. And I still need to check and see if I have um, mac and cheese. I have not checked on that yet. So that's just gonna sit there while I do the sausage now. Okay, I just have two packs of these, the beef smoked sausage that's normally what I go with. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this cut up and get it over there in the pan. I just decided to do some of these frozen cut green beans and I'm just going to do them in the instant pot because that'll make it a lot quicker than the stove top because I cooked them for a long time on the stove. So first of all I'm going to go in with two bags of the frozen green beans. Next I'm going to go in with just a little bit of pre-cooked bacon that was cooked up yesterday. What I used for my salad earlier today. I'm just going to put a little bit in there. Next I'm going to go in with about a handful of onion. So we like to add a little bit of chicken broth to our green beans. So I'm gonna add a little bit of chicken broth and I'm gonna top the rest off with water. Next, I'm gonna add some pepper, salt, that's it. I'm gonna put the lid on. All right, so it says to cook on high pressure and we're gonna do it about, um, yeah. We're gonna do it for about eight minutes. Here's the sausage and veggies when they're all done. The veggies are nice and soft. Um, the sausage has a nice light brown tint to it and it smells absolutely amazing in here. And I just do the really simple instant minute rice so no need to tell you how to do that. It's pretty self-explanatory. Anyway, I'm boiling the water for that now. I'm gonna get the rice going, waiting on the green beans and then dinner should be done soon. All right y'all, so here it is all mixed together. The sausage, the bell peppers, onions, rice, it looks and smells amazing. I'm just waiting on those green beans to finish up and then dinner will be done. What are you doing with this string, little miss? Are you unraveling it all through the house? Did you find a picture? Who'd you find a picture of? Who'd you find a picture of? Is that Bethany? Here, let's see your nails. Allie painted her nails while I was cooking. <gasps> they are so pretty. Do you love that pink? You licked your nails? <laughs> Don't lick it. That's nasty. Are they pretty in pink? <laughs> I'm pretty in pink. <laughs> Alright y'all, so dinner and cleanup is done and it was so good. The sausage and rice was really good. I would say most of us liked it. A couple of the little kids kind of picked at it. Um, like either just ate the sausage or just the green beans or something like that. But it was good and most people did like it. Even with the um, bell peppers and onions in it. Now that cleanup is done and all of that, the girls are playing outside for a little while. Little neighborhood friends just came over, so I'm gonna let them have some time outside playing. But I figured I better go ahead and end this vlog here. I thank y'all so much for watching. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I'll talk to you in the comments. Bye.